Hi and welcome back. This is uh, my third video in my targetable lists and for this particular video it's another dual combination uh, uh, attempt. You can have one guy on his own if you want him but you could target both and I'll explain why you might want to do that and that's Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman. Now Devontae Freeman doesn't really need a lot of talk really but he is actually surprisingly good value. A lot of people seem to be viewing him after players like um, Gordon after players like McCoy and I find that a little unusual I mean I understand why they like them above them and I get that because they scored more points and all the rest of it but this is Mr. Consistency so if you're looking for a running back who can give you consistency I think you could do worse than Devontae Freeman in the first round of any draft the nice thing with combining with Tevin Coleman is that they're both of them together give you the 101 pick in a draft now this might sound really weird and anti-intuitive but let just me explain this for a minute um, you know each week who the starter will be and obviously that would be Freeman when he's healthy but because you own both outright it's very powerful you get in 16 starts the duo will outscore any single running back in fantasy football and they did that in 2016 by a margin um, and you could actually expect the same same thing that happened this year I wouldn't be surprised if the pair ended up with something like you know, 1,200 to thirteen or 1,400 yards rushing, 70 receptions, 600 yards, 15 touchdowns. It, there is something to be said by owning a pair of running backs. Now, if you can't get both, you get Devontae Freeman and you happily roll with it. But Delvin, sorry, Tevin Coleman has some wonderful upside that a lot of people just don't see. So I think owning the pair has incredible value. Now, in the off season, for those that don't know, in, in various forums, I've really been talking up the value of Freeman and how to trade for him in Dynasty and stuff like that and what to do. People forget that Freeman's only 25. Coleman is 24. Um, Freeman has also only played three seasons on his resume and he's only missed one game in those three years. He's coming off back-to-back 1,000-yard, 450 uh, receiving season, each while he pulled in 14 and 13 touchdowns. 73 and 53 catches respectfully and really that's quite insane you then factor in Tevin Coleman I mean it's an incredible duo to own and if you can own Freeman on his own you're laughing if you can own the pair particularly in Dynasty or in any redraft league or anything along those lines I think you're actually looking at one of the most sneakiest upside plays of this season and yeah people would argue well you have to give up a flex play to do this yeah but it's not a bad flex play running backs are the premium they're difficult to get and yet the pair of them are only going to be out for one game on a bye week. And let's be honest, while they're playing together in that team, they could be very, very elite for this year. If anything, the, seat, the coaching changes probably help Freeman more than they do Coleman. But I do like the idea of trying to get the pair in one league and seeing how it goes. Now, not for one minute am I suggesting that you do that. But if you can, it's worth the risk. And I want to just add one thing in. Ultimately, target Devontae Freeman first. If Tevin Coleman's there, don't hesitate to pull the trigger and I think you'll enjoy the ride while the player, pair are playing together. There's my sneaky pick.